Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Place of Binding Bites of Rift Plus. Uh, I'm gonna be honest with you, we're gonna do a challenge today, and it's not gonna be the first time I've attempted this challenge. And that is because, despite all of the talking that I've done, oh, well, I think I've shown on camera that I'm pretty good at challenges, etc, etc, the uh, ultra hard challenge has bested me. And it has bested me a few times. It has bested me in frustrating ways and in ways that did not necessarily make for uh, particularly engaging video content. We're gonna try to change that here. S-C-A-R is not a good sign when the first part of the seed says scar. B6LR. So, what is the everything about the Ultra Hard Challenge? Well, as always, I don't fully know. I do know that it goes to Mega Satan. As many people have probably pointed out on earlier videos, hey, moron, look at this symbol. The symbol tells you where you're going. Did dailies for like six months, completely forgot that was even functionality. Oh good, Cursed Eye, that's gonna make this much easier. Well, Curse of the Blind is one that you can see that you'll have on every floor. Every floor also has Curse of the Labyrinth, which isn't actually uh, necessarily a bad thing in and of itself. However, the big deal... I mean, that was pretty good. It doesn't give me a chance to illustrate my point, but the big deal with the Ultra Hard Challenge, in my opinion, is, for I mean, first off, the combination of the fact that you have almost every curse on every single floor, uh, combined with... The fact that every enemy that can be a champion will be a champion, combined with the ultimate fuck you, which is that uh, you can never get HP. Which is actually, like, I've, I've clickbaited you a little bit there. It's not fully true. You actually can get HP. You can get HP upgrades. You can also get spirit hearts in the form of, you know, if you get a spirit heart from an item, you can get a spirit heart in that avenue. Squeezy, oh. Squeezy will still give you uh, two spirit hearts, for example. Uh, however, if you blow up a tinted rock and it's supposed to have a spirit heart, surprise, it just doesn't have it anymore, so fuck you, I guess. Uh, it's actually not that bad, all things considered. Although, our range is pretty horrible, which is really bad when you also don't have the ability to replenish your HP. But hopefully our, our DPS will take care of that for now, at least. Um, so when you add all that together, it just creates a run that is gonna be like all kinds of fucked up here. We're not gonna succeed on the first attempt in all likelihood, especially with Cursed Eye. Keep in mind we have to go all the way to Mega Satan, so unless I find like Nod Leaf uh, Cube of Meat or something like that, we're gonna be spending a lot of time probably, unfortunately, teleporting out of rooms. Uh, Cat of Nine Tails is very nice. It does give us increased damage, but also increased range, which is. Quite nice, and we got that one-third chance at a deal with the devil, but do keep in mind, um, we won't know what the item is on the deal with the devil, so creates a slightly complicated situation. Um, for example, be a real bummer, hypothetically, just speaking here, if you uh, paid a bunch of HP and the only thing you got out of it was betrayal and ghost baby. So I'm thinking one avenue, eh, we got HP up at least. Um, one avenue for potential success might be trying to get a deal with the angel, and, and our... Unfortunate uh, reality is that we took damage and we still have no spirit hearts to back ourselves up So the odds are pretty good that we'll take damage at some point on this floor and and neglect to get a deal with the devil anyway I mean there's some pretty simple like back of the napkin uh, Calculations you can run here If you want to know how I feel about my chances right now This this challenge is no joke and we can debate until the well not debate is a strong word here um, but We can talk about it till the fucking cows come home is this a uh, anti-fun from an Isaac standpoint, or is this actually just like a hard enough challenge that it is fun? It doesn't really matter because it's a one-time challenge. Once it's done, it's done. I gotta say, 99 bombs probably uh, not a horrible pickup for us right now. I do, and the soul gave us some spirit hearts. Uh, my goal right now is definitely to facilitate. A deal with the devil, holy shit. That's probably one of the strongest rooms I've ever had in my whole fucking life. I am amazed that we got through that. Widow. It's double Widow. Oh, who's a Widow Widow? See, I've still got my sense of humor. They can never take that away from me. Polydactyly. Means we get a pill. Uh, and this is gonna be a little on the harder side, I think. However... If we can use Big Horn against Little Horn, 
and vice versa. I wouldn't mind it. Like, we just had a bomb uh, work in our favor there, but... Holy crap, that worked. Oh, you dick! Don't cost me to deal with the devil, you fucking asshole. Those bombs, I believe, they used to do contact damage. I don't know if that's fixed or if that... Well, they're both, like, basically in fuck-off-and-die territory right now. It's pretty important to me that I don't take damage here. Is that right? Oh, the contact damage bomb. Reducing our HP, but also our deal with the devil chance. That one's, to some extent, that's on me. I'll... Beautiful. Just... I'm not that salty. I'm less salty than it seems like I am salty right now. But, you did it have to be cursed eye, like, of everything. Oh, and another amnesia pill. Sweet. Um... Out of all the possibilities, it had to be Cursed Eye in... You know what? No. We're restarting this one. Ten minutes in, I'm I'm aware. Is that a is that a pussy way out? Yeah. But we're not winning that run. Ooh, we could have gone down to the next floor and gotten some HP. No, no, you can't. You don't see. That's the, You cannot do that thing that you were suggesting that you do because there's no HP on the ground. I will say... And I've, I've said this a lot in Afterbirth Plus, I appreciate the notion of a good challenge, you know? I've also said that, you know, in Afterbirth Plus, particularly with respect to greedier mode, uh, a mode which makes absolutely everything harder without giving the player any advantages, except the advantage of being on a Curse of the Labyrinth every time. Not necessarily my idea of fun, but I'm not going to rain on your parade if that's what you're into. This is an actual challenge, and for that, I do have to say that I respect it. Even if it annoys me, and it gives me holy water, in a, that, I really appreciate that, by the way. Um, it's still, I, I, god damn it, I respect it. We got a remote detonator. It's actually, like, an item? <laughs> it's a space bar item. I don't think I've ever had a space bar item on any of these attempts before. Um, is it great? No, I would say that it is decidedly not great. Uh, as is the fact that we just tanked our deal with the devil. Yep, yeah, okay. And lost HP in the process. We shouldn't be taking damage against these guys. I'm not fully tilted. I swear to God, I'm not fully tilted. But I am approaching full tilt poker. And that is not gonna... Ha okay, yep, I'll tell you what. Just pass away on the first floor. That one's pretty much on me. This is the one right here. This is, I'll, I'll call it, this is harder than the Lost, without a doubt. Is it harder than the Keeper? I don't know. Because as the Keeper, um, I've, I've practiced enough as that character to know, like, what I'm doing. Please be tinted, uh, or sorry, small rock. Okay, just a waste of a bomb. I will surmount this. Will I surmount this in this video? No, I doubt it. I doubt it very much, to be honest with you. Um... But we will, given enough time, you know, we'll walk into that first floor item room and it'll have mom's knife. Or given enough time, we'll just play well enough that, that we get it. I know it'll happen. And the Alge's rune is a big help. What's my strength in the Isaac community? Never lose hope. Never give up. That didn't look like that was going to happen, but it did. But it did. I've got to I've gotta be the guy with the positive morale. i got to be the guy who's keeping his head held high. And that's not because I've got a, a role to maintain. It's because that's the kind of guy I am in most situations. For all the jokes about cynicism and sarcasm as a veil for not having, like, real feelings exposed, which makes you vulnerable, deep down, I can be sentimental sometimes. And I want to look on the bright side of life, you know? I want to believe the best in every situation, and even if it's not the best in every situation, you know, the cynic takes glee in being right about things being bad. I think the optimist recognizes that even if things are bad, believing that they can at least get better is a useful coping mechanism in life. And that's where I'm at right now. This challenge sucks. It's a fucking... it's unfair. <laughs> it might be unfun. No comment. Well, ask me after I win, and we'll see how I feel about the challenge. But, there's little shreds of hope in there. And there's hope within myself as well, that I could just play better and get out of it. But if it gives me Curse of the Blind one more fucking time, 
I, I not curse of the blind, sorry, because we cursed eye one more fucking time. I'm gonna go absolutely fucking ape shit on that ass. Please, I'm begging you. It doesn't have to be like it doesn't have to be like this. DPS, DPS. We're gonna get this fucking deal with the devil. It's gonna be brimstone, and we're gonna win. And brimstone's not fair to win with, but you know what? This challenge isn't fucking fair to begin with, so I don't care. Okay, sure, yeah. Very sensible. Um, you know what? We're popping the Alges rune. You know why we're popping the Alges rune? Because I'm not fucking dying to Monstro. And I'm not losing my deal with the devil chance to Monstro either. So you can basically just eat shit here. And I will be using bombs against you. Because you deserve to have bombs used against every, every single bomb is going to be used against you, Monstro. Because we're getting a deal with the devil. Pentagram. I'm for it. What the fuck is this? You can't do this. <laughs> I mean, you can. And people have beaten this. And don't even start with me, by the way. People are going to be like, I don't see what the... I beat it on my first try. What'd you get? Oh, my first item room had Death's Touch. Right next to it was an item room with Mom's Knife. Oh, Google, amazing. You must be so skilled at the game. Okay. I'm getting a little deja vu here. Have you ever seen this room before? Um... Ama how do you do it? Amazing. Can you teach me your skills? Like, I'm already a dude who gets pretty lucky in this game to begin with, but you are like some next level talent. Generational. The Connor McDavid of the Binding of Isaac. What do we have in here? Wouldn't it be great if it was Death's Touch plus Mom's Knife? Little Haunt is fine. Serpent's Kiss is actually not that good because we can't get Black Hearts, but I think even the poison damage is okay. This challenge is... I want you to know, it's fucked. It's totally screwed. It's it's unfair, and that's the point. And we're gonna not play Tyrone's game, and we're gonna beat his challenge. Maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, but it'll be done, and when it's done, it'll be done every day for the rest of your life. Do you just go for the deal with the angel right off the bat? <laughs> like, I don't really like our chances of, of not getting hit on the... Uh, on the two boss fights, considering that they're tough. I mean, it, oh god, I freaked out. I thought I was gonna get hit for sure. Um, what do you got? Hero font. <laughs> Beautiful. Just wide open spaces. Terrible. Terrible pill to get, or a uh, card to get. Effectively, we spent a key to get a penny. And maybe this is a blessing in disguise that our first deal with the devil was actually like historical trash. In the sense, not like it was trash invented by, like, you know, King Henry VIII or something, but, like, it was trash that... It was an unprecedentedly bad room for an unprecedentedly bad situation, I think. Uh, temperance, very unlikely to be worth anything for us, but I... S <laughs> it's gonna be like that, huh? Health down pill. Um, I suppose that we could hail Mary for a blood bag. Holy fuck, we have Nod Leaf. So now... It really just... How much time have you got? It's 12.47 a.m. here. I'll just knock out one more Isaacram before sleep tonight. Oh, Nod Leaf plus Little Haunt. That's the ticket right there. What, what could be greater, you know, than golf with a fucking gator? And I would rather lose and try to win with honor than take 400 years to get the, like, Little Haunt to kill Mega Satan. That sounds like hell. I could actually sleep, wake up, and then post the episode after. Bloody Lust is surprisingly horrible for us only because I mean if we get hit we'll be sincerely happy to have the bonus however we can't afford to get hit like at all costs we have to avoid taking damage so there's no way we can do the standard like oh we'll just take the oh, we got the temperance card plus bloody lust we win like we can't do that and it's good you know I like being off balance but at the same time it does feel a little bit like the gods are laughing at me right now. Like, hey, wouldn't it be cool if we just gave you uh, exactly the items you could use to win in a different situation, but not this one? Fuck it, let's try it. Pretty fly. Beautiful. Thank you. At least we got something. Didn't even want to go to the boss fight. Anyway, who would? Duke of Flies plus Champion Monstro is as good as it gets down here, dude. I mean, Double Widow on a big room is probably better. But this is pretty solid as far as like, at least it's not, you know, Big Horn, Little Horn. That room is hell. It, it actually caused me to tap out of a run, which is something that I'm not proud of, but I do think is the sensible decision. You know, is ain't nothing unsportsmanlike 
about conceding when you know you've lost, you know? You play an Areno Mage. He's got a secret up. He's got 28 HP. You got 1 HP. If you say the victory is yours, you're not a bad person. They ain't see his argument all the time. Then this is how you know it's bullshit because it comes on both sides. Is it uh, unsportsmanlike to concede? And then the next day, is it unsportsmanlike not to concede? And like, oh, good. All right. No, you know what? You can't. You can't. I'm not going to let you do this to me. So you might as well just wait until Are You a Wizard is done because I'm not going to fight the boss with Are You a Wizard. I'll sit, I'll sit here quietly. I don't care. It's your game. Doesn't bother me. I've caught so much flack, you know, from people who think I have a single digit IQ because I went to the wrong floor a couple of times. Doesn't bother me to sit here and have people talk shit. Okay, yeah, I mean, straight up. Straight up. I need to go check my email or something. Come get a taste. I refuse. Step to me. Get poisoned. What's your favorite berry? Is it a poison berry? I will wait until Little Haunt destroys all of you. It bothers me 0%. You know why? Because I got a 72% chance of a deal with the Angel for sitting here. And this will become the most successful run I've ever had on this challenge type if I just sit here. So, I'm going to sit here. And just remember, true design... It's like I'm having a one-to-one -one dialogue with a people who made the game as opposed to, you know, the people I'm supposed to be entertaining who are watching this. I don't mean this to be throwing shade, but you've created this adversarial relationship as a result of the conditions and the parameters that you inserted into this challenge. It's, it's gonna be adversarial. If you don't want it to be adversarial, it didn't have to be adversarial. I like it. The fire in my belly, imbued by my ancestors hunting lions on the African plains, has been ignited, and you've done that. And now I know what it truly feels like to be alive. And I thank you for that. But I don't know if I can ever go back. There's been a state change. Then the ultra hard challenge did it to me. You can't condense gaseous rage into a more solid form. Nor should you want to, when it's as constructive as this is. Little Haunt, my ghost friend. Spectral form of my corporeal rage. Deal damage proportional to the fire that I feel deep within my solar plexus. Destroy the enemies as you yourself have been destroyed and reincarnated as a vengeful spirit. I demand it. I demand blood. Your sacrifice will not be in vain. I will sit here as long as is necessary for you to slay a boss that has not really all that much HP, all things considered. But his HP does not outpace the temerity of my rage. You will not shoot me. I cannot be stopped. And just remember, when you watch this episode, who created this? Sure as fuck wasn't me. Old Bandage might actually be good. Holy Light is also good. I don't believe it. We are down to the fucking depths. The dream is real. Madrina is real. Okay. And immediately die. By the way, Old Bandage, where the fuck were you on that one? Wait, no, Old Bandage sucks. It, it can't give us a red heart. So Old Bandage is actually just garbage. So when I said that Old Bandage could save our life, what I actually meant to say is Old Bandage is a piece of old shit, basically. And if it fucked off and died forever, I wouldn't care. But I do like having the extra heart container. Although, you'll remember that there's almost no way to refill it, so it's basically just a dead item, so that's pretty sweet as well. I suppose we'll take Gordon... <laughs> Gordon Horseshoe! It's fucking Nod! Get it? Because it's Nod Leaf. You donkey! You donkey's jawbone! It's Nod! This episode is gonna be an all-time classic. I'm glad, you know. It's been a busy day. It's been a long, long day. You don't need to hear that, but I'm glad that you were hearing the result of that long day in commentary form, because it is hilarious. Um, if I move, I will be killed. So, you put... No, he cannot die. He has to fart. He cannot die, he has to fart! Little Haunt, I'm on the spikes, dude. If I move, I'll die.
I don't think there's a way out of this. I will just be killed. Here's the way it- so, as soon as we step, we're gonna die. I think if I hit Q, and the blood bank spawns right on top of me, I can get out of here but only losing a half heart. But I know full well this will probably kill me. So it's been a good episode, and by good episode I mean, Jesus fuck. Nope, there you go, okay, yep. Yeah. Sweet, um, thanks for watching. Hope you guys have enjoyed the episode. I'm gonna go cry myself to sleep now. If you did, click the like button, it helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you wanna see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. Ultra hard. Two thumbs up, five stars on the iOS app store. Big fan, big fan of what this challenge does, Ruka. Why is my owner so weird? All right. Thanks for watching and reveling in my misery. I'll see you next time.